general agreeable fear from Construction Simulator 2, Fan Forum, and Wiki. Today we're going to be discussing how to couple your tractor and trailer, as well as a couple of tricks on backing the trailer into a construction site more effectively. Now coupling is very self-explanatory. I'm sure that you already know how to do it. If you don't, here's a quick tip. Back your vehicle into that trailer you'll see the yellow icon will turn green. When it turns green, long press the trailer, go to the coupling toggle, there you go, done. Simple as that. Now you can pull forward and you can load your vehicle. Now once you get to the construction site, turning left and turning right is opposite on your joystick. So the direction you want the trailer to go is the direction that you have to turn opposite of. So if I'm gonna start backing up, turning left, I need to go right now, so I'm going to go right, left to back it up, and right again. Now, when you're backing the vehicle in, it's a tricky dance of left and right. If you're going to be backing your vehicle in to the left, you need to start off on the left and then switch to the right immediately. If you're going to the right, it's the opposite. Start off on the right and switch to the left immediately and then just dance between those two to, to level yourself out. The rest is self-explanatory. Lower your trailer ramps using the toggle on the left side and then switch to your vehicle that's on the, the trailer and detach that vehicle to offload it from the low boy and use it for your construction task. And now I'm going to show you how to back in again. If I'm going to the right, I need to turn the steering wheel to the left. If I'm going to the left, I need to turn the steering wheel to the right. And you see that I have to stabilize the tractor at the same time. So even though I am going in the opposite direction on the steering wheel as the tractor is going, you need to stabilize your tractor, straighten it back out before you continue going in that direction or else you're going to end up jackknifing. Almost perfect. And there we go. Very easy once you get the hang of it nice little trick is to tap on the reverse button so that you have a more stabilized driving experience. If you just hit the gas in reverse and try to throw these steering wheels back and forth, you're just going to end up with a hot mess. So here we go again. We're going to back in. It's a little bit closer, a little tighter. Already starting to stabilize and you see how I start off going right to left or left to right and that's how you're going to stabilize. Now if you don't stabilize soon enough, like I should be right there, then you end up jackknifing the vehicle. And it's harder too because you're squaring into a closer area, a smaller space. So feel free to pull forward and straighten yourself out again. I'll show you one more time. I'm going to pull up close again. This is a lot harder to do this way. It's much easier to do it if you start off across the street. Opposite the direction the trailer is going. Stabilize, stabilize, stabilize. If you see your tractor trailer is more than a 45 degree angle, then you're going to start jackknifing and you need to stabilize right away. I'm going to see. Then stabilize fast enough, ended up in an awkward position. You notice too that I tap the brakes. Okay. Again, I'm General Grey Wolf from Construction Simulator 2, Fan Forum, and Wiki. If you want more tips and tricks, go to cs2fanpage.freeforums.net.